Alrighty then. Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Priscilla. And I am here today. So, okay, a very long time ago, I did a tutorial on Merida from Pixar's Brave, but I had to get rid of it because it was somebody else's artwork instead of just like the original, like a, a frame from the movie or just like what she looks like now. So I got rid of it because it wasn't my artwork and it wasn't Disney's artwork. Um, it was just somebody else's. So I felt wrong using it. So that's why today we are going to redraw Merida. So we're going to do Merida in her new style, which isn't exactly what she looks like in the Pixar movie, but it's definitely what she looks like in more of a 2D form. So let's go ahead and get started. So what I want to do is I want to go ahead and draw a circle. Mm -hmm. Always a circle. So I'm just going to go ahead and make this a little bit wider at the sides. And I'm going to bring a little bit more of a point to here. So we are going to do a three quarter view. I'm going to go ahead and divide down the middle where her nose needs to be and I'm going to go ahead and give her that eye line which is up here and we're just going to leave it like this. So since we have the guidelines to around her face, what I want to go ahead and do is just lay out just where everything's going to go. So we're going to put one eye right here, we're going to put her nose down here, then we're going to jump over here and put one eye here. So these are like how wide they're going to be. They're just guidelines. And then I'm gonna jump down below and just roughly give that smile. For her eye shape, what I'm going to do first is I'm gonna jump up here. I'm gonna to go to the corner, bring this up, make sure that the eyelash line goes all the way to the side of her face. So it'll be like right here, it touches all the way. Go underneath. Bring it up and connect. Let's jump over here. And you're gonna jump on top. Give her that eyelash line. Bring it down. Nice and wide, but it's still got that seed-like shape to it. And I'm gonna jump down here. And connect. Bring this all the way down like this. And bring this upwards. After that, I'm going to jump into the corner, cut off this side, jump over here. I'm going to bring up her iris close to the top eyelash line, center that iris pupil area in the middle. Jump over here, give a little shine here. I'm going to give a little shine there. I'm going to fill in that pupil area. Jump over here, fill in this pupil area. She has a thick eyelash line up over into the side, so you, you just want to bring out those eyelashes. One, two, three. Jump over here. Very thick upper eyelash line. Bring those out. Good three or four off to the side. And then I'm going to jump up, give one eyebrow, I'm going to start with the eyebrow, bring it off to the side and bring it all the way over. She has a bit of thick eyebrows just because they're thick red eyebrows, so I'm going to start with the bottom so we make this arch going all the way off to the side. And then we're going to make a little bit of a boxy-ish, close it off. Give it that arch and let it go off to the side. Start this eyebrow over this eye. Start with the bottom line first. Bring it all over here. Bring up this side. Just make it nice and thick. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump down below to our nose at that circle and I'm going to bring out this side. Curve underneath. This is my favorite way to do noses. Is to draw it this way. Kind of bring out this side little a little bit over here just to show that there's another nostril on the other side. And you're gonna create this nostril over here. 
And then we have that good old nose flap. I do not know the medical term for it, but nostril nose flap. And then I'm just gonna jump up here, kind of lining up with this eyebrow. And we're just going to put a line just to signify that that is her nose ridge. Let's go ahead and clear up a few guidelines. For her smile, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just bring out this side a little bit more. And we're gonna start with her upper lip line. She doesn't have that much of a dip on her upper lip line like some princesses, but we're just gonna go ahead and just bring out this side. And then I'm gonna jump over here. And bring out this side. So not that too deep of a dip on the upper lip, but we just want to give it a little bit. And then I'm going to actually bring this up and we have her dimple. Then I'm going to jump down below and, get, and start that bottom lip. So I'm going to bring out this side right here and then I'm going to jump over off to the side and connect. Now let's go ahead and shape up her face just a little bit more. So starting from her eyebrow on the side, we want to go ahead and give her a forehead. So I'm going to jump off to the side and round this down. And Merida has a very roundish face, so we do want to keep this overall roundishness to it, but we're just going to go ahead and shape it a little bit more. So from her eye, you're just going to bring go inwards with your line, bring it out just a little bit. Curve that inwards. You're going to give her just a little bit of a round chin. So you want to make sure that her cheek's a little bit outwards. Bring this in. And then from right here, you're just going to round off this side as well. And then you're actually going to jump up to here, same eye same level as her eyes and give and round off her ear and I'm just gonna go ahead and connect it over here for right now just so we see the overall shape of her face then of course you just want to go around and give a couple of sporadic freckles we're gonna jump down and give her her neck at least so we're gonna jump a little bit off to the side of her chin Bring this inward, jump off to over here where we made this line, bring this inward, just make sure it's curving just a little bit. This one is definitely curving inwards. And then this one will go off just a little bit over here. And then we're going to start her collarbone over here where it's going to go down and then up. And I'm just gonna go ahead and start the top of her dress. So where we're gonna start with her hair first, there's always, <laughs> the most important thing about Merida is her hair. So I'm actually going to start right at the top. And we're gonna start with this triangle shape and it's gonna go this way. And then this one will eventually lead to down to here. And there's no wrong way to do Meredith's hair. You can go crazy as much as you'd like because it's just trying to figure out where to start. So to start, you start off with this triangular shape. You're gonna go off to this side. I'm gonna bring down this ringlet down here into her face. It's just a bunch of swervy pieces and the thing is to make it kind of look like a ribbon with ringlets so as you can see they look like little flags so we're going to be able to see this is part of her hair and this is her forehead Let me go ahead and get rid of this and this for you so we start from here to go off this way and this way I'm gonna jump up here and then I'm gonna jump up here and jump up here and then jump up here. And then for this one, this one's gonna go in, curve downwards, 
and I'm actually going to make like a guide I'm actually gonna go all the way up to here start going this way to say that's as high as I want it to go because you don't want to go too high with her hair and you don't want to go too low and this is a good area to start so I'm just gonna start with making a hill here making a hill here and you can just keep going crazy I'm actually gonna make a curl up here I'm gonna go up curve this way curve up bring this down This is why I always like the cartoon version of Merida because I know if you look at the Pixar animation with the CGI on her, her hair is crazy. But kind of with this cartoon, that's why I like I like drawing her in this way. It's a little bit more subtle. And I just like to do the outside of her hair and then I like to go in and fill it in. So it's actually gonna go all the way over here. And I'm gonna jump over here. Let's make a curl. Go out this way. Okay, let's stop there and let's go ahead and fill inside. So I'm actually going to start with her ear and I'm going to chop off the top of her ear and start giving more areas of curls inside. So let's go ahead and give her the top of her dress before we continue downwards with the rest of her curls. What I'm going to do is from this top line of her dress, we're just going to make little boxy shapes. And I'm actually going to go up to here, curve this inward, and there's her shoulder. And I'm going to actually curl this over. This is the ribbon that lines the top of her dress. So I'm actually going to go to the middle 
of her dress. After we're done lining the ribbon, you're gonna go to the middle and you're gonna create a triangle right there. And then you're actually gonna go ahead and connect it by going top line, top string, two strings crossing to each other, and then another string right here. And you're actually gonna go around and you're gonna line that and the top of the ribbon that we made. So we have two lines. We have this line that's holding up the lining. And then we have this line. And then you're gonna jump over here. And we're gonna start to make one arm going off to the side. And you're actually gonna jump down just a little bit to right here. And then you're going to jump over here and bring down this side as well. So from this top and just bring this a little bit inward and then we'll bring down this arm, bring this in, so we go down, circle it off, bring it in, and then from over here, bring this down. And we're going to jump over off to the side and give her that other arm. And then for right here, you're just going to go ahead and we're going to define her chest just a little bit. Bring this down. So from after her chest, you're going to bring this down and we're going to jump back over here. Give a little bit of indention of her arm and we're going to bring this in. And we're going to bring out this side of her hip and this side. And this goes down and bring out this side. And you're just to give a little indication of her chest, of her clothing. You're going to put those two lines. We're just going to draw like this over here, jump over here, and this one's going to go up like this. And you're going to divide that into squares. So this is one's going to be a bigger square. Skip one. There's another square. And here's another square. And you get rid of that one. And that one. And you have that cool little puffy sleeveness that's coming out the top of her sleeve. We're going to do the exact same thing. Square. Square. And another square. Make that puff out just a little bit. So this arm, let's start over here. This arm's gonna close off like it is over here, this section. And I'm actually gonna go ahead and bring this down like her hand is going to be on her hip. So bring down her forearm, bring this up. We're gonna go down and towards that part. So what, but what I'm going to do here is put a circle because we're going to make a really poofy sleeve. So let's jump back over to this side and you're actually, we're going to make that circle again, but we have to make that elbow. So one elbow is going to go up. I'm going to bring up that elbow. And I'm just, I'm roughly placing this just because this is going to be a lot bigger than it is. So for her hand, I'm, I'm going to completely run off the side again. <laughs> oh, I always draw too large. So what I'm going to do is we're just going to draw her hand where we're going to make the thumb. Curve it inward and it goes off the page. <laughs> oh gosh. I just never plan to run off the side of the page. So we're just going to keep her palm and her thumb and then the side goes off, off the page. So I'm actually going to cut off her forearm to right here and this is going to signify I don't know the technical term for archery, but those those glove that one glove that you use to protect your hand where the arrow rests. 
if you know what that's called, leave in the comments down below to educate me a little bit more because I don't know archery that well. And then I'm going to jump on top and we're going to do the exact same thing that we kind of did up here. Except we're going to go up, cut off this section, go up make more of a hexagon and then go underneath and there's that big poofy section of her sleeve and it's very similar to this so we made a square up here we made this hexagon down here and then we made like another what I don't know it's just another parallelogram <laughs> And there's that poofiness to her sleeve. And then from over here, we're gonna do the exact same thing. This one's gonna start going outwards. Cut it off. So we have a weird looking parallelogram. And then we're gonna make that hexagon again. Just take up that whole circle space. Actually, it's an octagon. I don't know what <laughs> shapes. Okay, and then we're gonna jump up here, bring out that sleeve, and go back in. And there's that big poofy sleeve. So we go to the bottom, add that little itty bitty frilly part to the bottom, and this is her hand resting behind her hip. It's probably in a fist. And then that's when I can go ahead and bring down the rest of her hair. So I left off right here, so that means I can make a curl over here. And just keep going downwards. I'm actually going to like, I'll draw the outside like I was doing on top. And I'm actually going to come down to here. I'll go down to here. I'll jump off. Bring this down. And that'll just be back, that, and then it'll continue back here. So then I'm gonna go ahead and continue by finishing up and making the curls inside of her hair. So yes guys, I hope you enjoyed this. Please leave in the comments down below who you would like to draw next. If I have missed anyone in the past or any cartoon characters you guys would love to draw, please leave in the comments down below. I hope you all have a wonderful day and I will see you all later.